Hey y'all, how's it growing? Welcome back to my channel. This is Everyday Gardening with Erica. And today I am in the garden shed because I had to get out of the wind. It's very windy outside. But the good news is all the snow has melted and it is 64 degrees outside with a low, um, I think the lowest for this week is Tuesday, like at 34 degrees. Um, but the temperature is climbing back to where it needs to be warmer. And so because the sun is shining and things are starting to look more like spring rather than the dead of winter, um, I'm very anxious to get these roses that I purchased into the ground before they die. But because of the cold weather, unfortunately, um, I kept them in my garage and I try to keep, you know, keep them watered, but they don't look very good. So I'm afraid that if I don't get these guys in the ground soon, they're going to die and I don't want them to die. But let me show you what I got um, and then we'll get these guys planted. So this is the Chrysler Imperial Rose and this is one of my favorites. Every house that I've lived at, and I've lived at a couple, uh, cause I move a lot, uh, they each all had a Chrysler Imperial Rose bush planted in the backyard. I love this. It's um, a very large, red, fragrant rose, very traditional, um, but they can get to about this big if you let them. And so, here is what they look like, and I'll try to see if I can find some pictures to post as well. But the Chrysler Imperial is just one of my favorites, and it's been through a lot. I, I feel like these guys are pretty rugged, and they, they, get, they go through a lot of heat waves and even cold snaps, and they still survive. These other ones I have no experience with. So this one is, all, these are all fragrance, uh, fragrance. It says fragrant rose collection. So they're all fragrant. Um, this one here is called the promise. It is a pink rose and this is a hybrid tea rose as well. I know it's backwards, but this is a hybrid tea rose. So this is, should be a fairly, a large pink rose. This next one is a, it's called new day. It's a big yellow rose. Isn't that pretty? They're all hybrid teas and they, again, they're all fragrant. And this last one, just for fun, is called Chicago Peace. And this is kind of a little more of a coral color. So you can't, probably can't tell in the video, but it's actually kind of more orange right here and then pink around the edges of the petals. This is so pretty. So I have these four roses and you can kind of see a little bit uh, of the growth here. See, this one's nice and beautifully green, lime green, cause it's new. And then you've got like this stuff right here that started to die off. Cause I don't know if it's just got too cold for them or um, they didn't get enough water or what the deal was, but they're kind of in shock. So I want to get them in the ground. I am going to take with me some of my mushroom compost. So as I dig the holes and before I plant them in there, I'm going to be um, throwing some compost in there as well. Um, I have been told that um, in the past that if you're going to plant these to go ahead and stick them in a bucket of water for a little while and i thought about doing that but when i read the instructions on the back it doesn't say anything like that it, it just says to um, basically throw in some additional soil or compost in the hole and then water it in really really good so that's what i'm going to do um, is i'm going I'm to try it that way so let's jump into me planting these beautiful roses
Okay, so now that I got all the roses planted, I wanted to tell you a little bit of what I did. So let me turn the camera around so you can take a look at how I planted them. Okay, taking a step back. So we have one, two, three, and then four were the chickens over there. So this one here is the pink rose called Promise that I planted. This one's the Chrysler Imperial, which is the big red one. This one is the New Day, which is the big yellow one. And that one's the coral one. I think it's called Chicago Peace. So what I did was, in the video, if you saw, um, the holes were a little bit too deep, so I went ahead and took some of the sand, filled it up a little bit more. Then I put some mushroom compost in there, planted it, mixed it in. Well, I take that back. Mushroom compost, mixed it in with some of the rose fertilizer, which let me show you. Looks like this. I've used this for a long time. Never had any issues with it. So I mixed some of that in there with the compost, then planted the rose, and then put some more sand on top. I did that with these three. Then when I got to the third one, I ran out of the mushroom compost and I went and got black cow compost, which is what I planted this last one in, along with the fertilizer. So they're in the ground, ready to go, and i um, anxious to see how they look. Well, let's see how long it takes before we start to really notice some growth in these roses. But if they do take off, which I anticipate that they will, I think they're gonna be very beautiful over here on this side of the house. All right, so it's getting a little windy out there, so I had to jump into the garden shed to close this video out, but that was the video for today. I just wanted to share with you my step-by-step -step process in planting those four rose bushes. I am pretty anxious to see them bloom. I know it's gonna take a little while. Honestly, the first year, although I will get some blooms out of them, that's always the second and the third year that really makes them prolific. But um, I know they're going to do well. These hybrid roses are very hardy. They deal with a lot, extreme heat and extreme cold. And our temperatures really aren't going to get as cold as they've been this last week. So that's why I wanted to get them in the ground and get them in the ground quickly before they dried up and they weren't going to be plantable at all. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget to put those below. And thank you so much for watching my channel and staying in touch with all the changes. Spring is just around the corner, which means that things are gonna get busier and busier. So until next time, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye guys.